Well, the rain slowed down to some extent, but still, still wants to rain. Um, I'm going to paddle over to a little point here and see if we can't bring up some smallmouth. Uh, these low, these overcast days are often really good fishing if you can stand being out here. I don't know how much filming we're going to get done, but we'll give it a try. Got a little point over here. The water's about 80 degrees. It's actually warmer in the water than it is outside. Um, about 80 degrees. Uh, I've got a point over here that drops down to about 30 feet. It goes from like 10 feet to 30 feet. So I'm going to chuck a spinner bait and see if we can't pull up some smallies. Um, see what What's going on over there? four loons fly overhead and there's two more right over there so six loons and uh um, very small area it's good the people are concerned that they're dying off but there seem to be a lot of them here on top water. One one way to skin a cat. Whoa. Not a big one, but oh, what a mess. You gotta be careful with these troubles. There we go. <laughs> Hitting top water now. Follow those loons over to this uh, little triangle over here where the rocks are. And sure enough, first cast. Boom. So when you're out fishing, pay attention to what the wildlife's doing because they're not out here for recreation. 
they're out here to, they have to eat. And they know where the bait fish are, they know where the action is. So if you see eagles or loons or anything heavy concentration, um, it's definitely worth paying attention to them. Whoa! Oh. Whoa! Oh. Boy, you sucked that up. Whew. Another one on top water. My God. Oh, it's a large mouth. Ooh, I'm glad, I'm glad. Ooh, he just barely has that sucker. <laughs> Wear him down a little bit. Uh, another large mouth on, on Lake Wentworth. And uh, this is what you're looking for if you're looking for weight, obviously. Um, and uh, they're here, and there's some, there's some lunkers in here, but it's a question of finding them. And uh, this, one, this guy here. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, God, it gives me the chills. It gives me goosebumps to catch these guys. It's a beautiful fish. You know? And he hammered that top water. Like I said, I followed those loons over here, and immediately we started catching fish. Look at that, huh? Nice Lake Wentworth uh, largemouth. Have about four of those in your uh, live all at the end of the day. You'd be in pretty good shape. Beautiful fish, very healthy. I'm gonna let him go. Here he goes. Um, Pulled it up to this little triangle here. There's three buoys and there's just a rock outcrop where the point comes out. And uh, they're hanging off the edge of the point. And, um, you know, they're hitting topwater. Come out here with the intention of doing some spinnerbait fishing, but topwater is definitely outproducing the uh, spinnerbait. So we're going to stick on topwater. Little rebel pop are chrome and black. And the other thing, when you're fishing these topwaters, um, you know, I see, you know, a lot of times you throw it out there and I'll twitch it three or four times. Boy, the rain's coming down. I'm going to have to shut the camera off again. But, uh, twitch it three or four times and pull it in and cast again. I mean, I let that thing sit there for two or three minutes and I kept twitching. Finally that largey came over and just didn't even break the water. Just came up and all of a sudden the, the lure was gone and I had the fish on, you know. And uh, I'm going to shut down, but we'll get back to it. All right. <laughs> this is the rebel, this is a little popper, popper that we're fishing today. And it's working very well. Top water slowed down, started throwing a spinnerbait. And guess what? Immediately, fucking up. Some smallmouth action. Not a big one, but the smallest is starting to turn on. And guess what? Now they want a spinnerbait. So, I just can't make up their mind what they want today. Whoa. Uh, that was a good hookup. Small one. Anyway. Oh, well, that's all there is to it. Come out here with a plan, do something totally different, figure it out, and catch fish. That's what fishing's all about. You never know, it's never a guarantee, it's never a sure thing. Um, heavy series and this and that. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. You gotta diversify. Backlash. <laughs> That's all.
Twelve farms are fucked up. Oh, bastard. Oh, backlash. Couple of times.